guys, I'm going to show you an example of a 90-90 position um, and the starting point of it. We're going to use functional range conditioning, pails and rails, to get you stronger in this position so you can progress it to isometric movement paths or transitions. So we're going to start in this 90-90 position. You can use yoga blocks for a few different things. If your knee can't get down on the ground, you can throw it under this one. Or if you have trouble staying upright, you can use the blocks to help support your upper body so that you're not slouching down. Okay? We're going to start the front leg first, so we're going to rotate over, try and bend from the hips as far as we can, and then we're pushing our knee into the ground. Okay, so that's our pales contraction. We're going to hold that for 10 seconds. And then keeping tension in the rest of the body, we're going to do our rails contraction. So we're going to try and lift that leg off the ground from the knee and the foot, engaging all that tissue in the front of the hip. We're going to hold that for 10 seconds. And you want to think about pulling your trunk towards your leg versus trying to shift back to get that upper, that leg off the ground. Once you've completed that, you want to rotate to the back leg, and I like to do that by holding both my ankles to support me. Again, if you struggle in this position, you can always sit on a yoga block, and that will prop you up a little bit further so that you can get over. <clears throat> so I'm going to do my pales contraction first. I'm pushing my knee and my foot into the ground as hard as I can keeping tension in the body. Then I'm going to squeeze my glute and try to lift that knee and foot off the ground, holding for 10 seconds. Okay, you can do multiple sets both sides and you can work up to 20 second holds and increase that intensity. So you can work within that 30 to 50%. So it's just a mild to moderate contraction, and then as you get better, as you get more comfortable, you can increase that to that full um, isometric contraction, maximal contraction. If you get cramping, that's okay, you can fight through that, that's just the nervous system telling us that it's uncomfortable, we wanna try and train through that if we can. Our progression from our pails and rails are gonna be passive range liftoffs. So in this 90-90 position, Again, you can sit on a yoga block if you need to prop yourself up a little more. We're going to create that tension in our body. We're going to lift this uh, knee off the ground, keeping the foot there, using our hip to rotate. So we're going to rotate our trunk and lift the leg, holding for 10. And control down. And then to work that front leg, we're going to rotate our trunk and then pivot from our hips, bringing our chest to the thigh, holding for 10. And come back up. So we're going to work those passive range liftoffs before we work on that transition side to side so that we're controlling through the right joints versus just flip-flopping. So our bare sit to 90-90 is really important to get that full range motion through our hips, full control. You'll see this done a lot in gyms, but people are just kind of flopping side to side, not really getting the range of motion from the places we're trying to train, which are the hips. So to start in this bare sit 90-90 transition, we're gonna have that nice open bare. So the more open our bare is, our bare sit position is, the more space we have to rotate those hips. So like everything, I'm gonna create tension in my body, I'm gonna hold that trunk uh, with a lot of tension so that I isolate all that movement through my hips. Again, you can sit on a foam block or yoga block if you need to prop yourself up a little bit because the goal here is to sit on top of our sit bones or slightly in front and not allowing that pelvis to roll back. So from here, I'm going to start with my right knee and I'm going to rotate my right hip internally. So I'm bringing my knee towards the ground in front of me. At the same time, I'm externally rotating my left hip 
So I'm going to bring that knee down to the ground with control. Once I'm here, similar to our passive range liftoffs from the uh, progress or regression before, I'm going to open up my hip. At the same time, I'm keeping that knee pulled down. I'm still externally rotating on that left side. I'm back to the bear. Now we're going to reverse it the other way. So I'm rotating this hip in. At the same time, I'm pushing this knee down to the ground and controlling it that way. Okay, if I want to do some rotations here, I can. So I can bring my trunk forward before coming back up and rotating to the other side. So as I transition, it's important to try and think about pulling those knees further apart, squeezing the glutes to keep those legs doing what they're supposed to be doing on each side versus them collapsing in.